Hello everyone. Welcome to the online session for class 7. Topic Electric Current and its Effect. Prepared by Deepa Lal. In this chapter, we will study about the electric current, electric circuit, electrical symbols, open and closed circuit, terms related to electricity, electric bulb, electric fuse and miniature circuit breaker. First, we will study electric current. An electric current is a stream of charged particles such as electrons or ions moving through an electrical conductor. The SI unit of electric current is ampere. Definition of ampere is the ampere is the flow of electric charge across a surface at a rate of 1 coulomb per second. Electric current is used to run electrical appliances such as factories, trains and large number of devices which make our life comfortable. This electrical energy is converted into different forms of energy like in speakers you can change electrical energy into sound energy. In tube light, you can change electrical energy to the light energy and so on. It can produce different effects of electric current. Current can be calculated by using formula which is current is equal to charge upon time. Current is measured by a device called an a meter. Electric circuit. Electric circuit is a closed path in which electric current flows. In other words, a continuous conducting path for the electric current is known as an electric circuit. There are two types of electric circuits. These are open circuit and closed circuit. An electric circuit has some essential components. These are cell or battery, connecting wires, electrical appliance such as bulb, key or switch. These electrical components can be represented by some symbols. These are some electrical symbols which you can see in this slide. Description of electrical symbols. Description of electrical symbols are cell. Cell is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy. Symbol of cell is Thin and longer line represent positive terminal of the cell, while thick and shorter line represent negative terminal of the cell. Battery. Battery is the combination of two or more cells joined in a series. It is connected in such a way that positive terminal of one cell will be connected to the negative terminal of the other switch. Switch is a device used to close or open an electric circuit. It consists of two brass terminals into which fits in another piece of brass. By turning a small knob in upward and downward direction, it is switched on or 
off. Connecting wires. Connecting wires which are generally insulated copper wires. A meter. A meter is a device which is used to measure the amount of electric current flowing through a circuit. Voltmeter. Voltmeter is a device which is used to measure the potential difference between the two terminals of the circuit. Types of electric circuit. There are two types of electric circuits. Open circuit and closed circuit. Open circuit. In open circuit, switch is in off position. Current does not flow in the circuit. In this diagram, you can see that switch is open or in off position. So the current does not flow in the circuit. Closed circuit. Closed circuit is that in which switch is on position. Current passes through the circuit, bulb will glow. You can see in this diagram that switch is closed and the current is flowing and bulb is glowing. There are some terms related to electric current. Those are conductors, the substance which allow current to flow through them with ease are called conductors. All metals such as copper, iron, silver, human body, impure water, etc. are conductor of electricity. Insulators, the substance which do not allow current to flow through them with ease are called insulators. Wood, plastic, paper, glass, pure water, etc. are the examples of insulators. Resistance. Resistance is defined as the opposition offered to the flow of electrons by a conductor. It is obtained as R is equal to V upon I. Unit of resistance is ohm. Copper wire generally offers very low resistance and does not get heated much. On the other hand, a thin wire of tungsten or aluminium offer high resistance and heated up quickly. This is the reason behind the usage of tungsten wire as the filament of bulb. The resistance of a conductor depends directly to its length, inversely to its area of cross-section and also on material of the conductor. Potential difference. The voltage difference between any two points in a circuit is known as potential difference. The unit of potential difference is volt. Electric bulb. Electric bulb is a device which converts electrical energy into light energy. The outer structure of bulb is made up of glass. Inside it, there is a coiled structure called filament, which is made up of tungsten wire. It glows as soon as the electricity passes through them. Tungsten wire has high melting point, so it will not melt easily. A bulb is filled with inert gases like argon, which won't react with the material of the bulb. Tungsten used in filament as it has high melting point around 3600 degree Celsius. If the filament is broken, 
circuit becomes incomplete so current stops flowing through the circuit bulb is fused and will not glow this is the diagram of electric bulb where you can see the outer structure is made up of glass and a tungsten filament is there with the supporting wires next topic is electric fuse electrical fuse is a safety device which prevents damage to electrical circuit and possible fires electrical fuse consists of a solid porcelain holder on the side of the which there are rectangular clamps of copper in between the copper clamps a fuse wire is fixed fuse wire is made of special material which melt quickly and break when large electric current are passed through them fuse wire is made of alloy of tin and lead with a very low melting point a fuse wire have high resistance and low melting point so that it prevents current higher than the prescribed value that is why it is called a safety device reasons of melting fuse wire following are the reasons of melting of fuse wire the circuit gets overloaded due to withdrawal of current there is short circuiting due to worn out insulation on connecting wire fluctuation of current in power supply system taking place so now i am going to describe short circuiting when positive and negative wires directly come into contact a large amount of current will suddenly occur in the electric circuit that is called short circuiting overloading sometime when many electrical devices are connected to a single socket excessive electric current will flow in the circuit this causes overloaded in the electric circuit and result in fire now the last topic is miniature circuit breaker which is also called mcb these days fuse are replaced by mcb mcb are switches which turn off automatically when there is an overflow of current when the switch of the mcb is turned on the circuit becomes complete again and current flows uninterrupted mcb are important for safety of electrical appliances as well as people at home thank you everyone for listening and watching this video mm -hmm.